Hi guys, welcome to today's session and today we are going to discuss about National Urban Digital Mission NUDM and in this session we will discuss the key points of uh, National Urban Digital Mission then we will discuss the significance of NUDM uh, that is uh, National Urban Digital Mission and uh, then we will discuss uh, this program is being implemented by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs that is MOHUA and uh, we will discuss uh, the other digital initiatives of uh, Mohua and uh, 2020 was the fifth year of a Digital India Mission. So, uh, as a Digital India Mission is closely related with the National Urban Digital Mission, we discuss few points on a uh, uh, Digital India Mission also. So, this is how I plan this session. Let's now start. The National Urban Digital Mission has been launched by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs and along with the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology and several other digital initiatives of uh, Mohua namely uh, India Urban Data Exchange, uh, Smart Code, Smart Cities 2.0 website and Geospatial Management Information System have also been uh, launched along with this and these initiatives will further uh, the ongoing efforts of both ministries to realize the vision of Digital India and uh, Atmanurpur Bharat and uh, National Urban Digital Mission will create a shared digital infrastructure for urban India working across the three pillars of people, process and platform to provide holistic support to cities and towns and uh, it will institutionalize a citizen centric and uh, ecosystem driven approach to urban governance and service delivery in 2022 cities uh, by 2022 and across all cities and towns in India by 2024. So that is uh, about the, the National Urban Digital Mission. Now we we'll discuss the significance of NUDM. So the shared digital infrastructure will consolidate and cross leverage the various digital initiatives of Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs uh, enabling cities and towns across India to benefit from holistic and diverse forms of support in keeping their needs and local challenges. NUDM has articulated a set of governing principles and inherits the technology design principles of a national urban innovation stack and the principles in turn give rise to standards, specifications and certifications across three pillars of people, process and platforms and also the national urban innovation stack will strengthen the capacity of urban ecosystem to solve complex programs at speed and scale by unlocking the power of urban data. So this is the significance of NUDM. Uh, now as we discuss in the initial part, uh, there are several other initiatives uh, launched by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. And now we will discuss uh, what are that. First point is uh, or first initiative is India Urban Data Exchange IUDX. It has been developed in partnership with uh, uh, Smart Cities Mission and uh, Indian Institute of Science Bengaluru. It serves as a seamless interface uh, for data providers and data users including urban local bodies to share request and access data sets related to cities urban governance and urban service delivery. It is an open source platform which facilitates the secure, authenticated and managed exchange of data amongst various data platforms, third party authenticated and authorized applications and other sources. And the next point is or next initiative is a smart code platform. It is a platform that enables all ecosystem stakeholders to contribute to a repository of open source code for various solutions and applications for urban governance. It is designed to address the challenges that urban local bodies face in the development and deployment of digital applications to address urban challenges by enabling cities to take advantage of existing codes and customizing them to suit local needs rather than having to develop solutions from scratch. And then we have a geospatial management information system. It is a web-based spatially enabled management tool providing one-stop access to information. It integrates information from multiple sources and features search operations op sorry options by topic and uh, geographic area. So that are the other initiatives launched by uh, Mohua that is Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. And as we discussed in the introductory part, 
uh, it is the fifth year of uh, digital india program so now we'll discuss few points on that so guys digital india is a program launched in 2015 to transform india into digital empowered society and knowledge economy it would also bring in public accountability through mandatory delivery of government services electronically and the vision areas were digital infrastructure as utility to uh, every citizen governance and services on demand digital empowerment of citizens and uh, the objectives were uh, to prepare india for a knowledge future uh, on being transformating that is to realize uh, india talent and information technology for india tomorrow and also uh, making technology center to enabling change uh, so these were the objectives of uh, digital india program and uh, it has completed uh, five years in 2020 that is last year and uh, various initiatives launched by government under digital india uh, that is jam trinity uh, direct benefit transfer common services centers digi locker uh, there are uh, to name a few and there are many other initiatives also so it was a successful program uh, the penetration internet penetration has increased in our country and the usage of uh, these devices like mobile phones and all increased in our country uh, so uh, digital india uh, mission along with uh, the national urban digital mission uh, will contribute much uh, to the governance uh, in our country we hope and uh, it is a new initiative national urban digital mission and it is a developing topic also so please follow news regarding uh, and updates regarding the national urban digital mission and it is an important topic in the next year mains uh, and also in prelims also uh, they can ask few questions uh, on this topic uh, so that is all about today we'll meet tomorrow with another topic thank you for watching this lesson